So, uh, I made a bit of a whoopsie last time. Uh, I said I'd go to Spark Mandrill, and just for consistency's sake, that's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm doing. But, I probably should have gone to Boomer Quanger stage. Uh, reason being, uh, I could have completely avoided a revisit if I had gone there, and I said I had gone there. But now I'm just committed to it, you know? But you know what? I'm gonna have to make an extra video talking about all the revisits. I might as well just add one more to keep that video a little less lonely. So, um, that being said, let's go. Now, if you had beaten Storm Eagle's stage at this point, you'll notice the ship right here. It's crashed right into this place, and this place is supposed to be a power plant. So, um, yeah, that definitely won't cause any problems whatsoever. Actually, uh, normally there is not a power outage, as you're seeing here. And second of all, through these little glass tubes I'm standing on, there are these sparks that go back and forth through them. And, uh, they hurt you. And they're infinitely spawning. But, like, yeah, they're kind of annoying. <laughs> uh... This right here, that, uh, sub-tank, that's the reason why I said I might have wanted to go to Boomer Quanger stage, but, you know what, that's worth a revisit, so, you know what, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll push through. Where's that ladder? Bit of a maze to start with. Again, without the, uh, the sparks in the floor, it's made a little bit less annoying. I also said that I would point out, uh, just how powerful the pink shot is. So these, these, uh, these shooting enemies take a fair bit of hits with a pink shot. Uh, I can completely miss them, as you can see. Uh, wow, is that, is that guy coming back? Dude, that's crazy. Where is he? Well, I was gonna shoot something off, but, uh, I guess this guy's being a prick. Ooh, you know what? I got an idea. Oh, that's not gonna work. I was trying to, like, dash to hit that guy down there, but nah, wasn't going to work. This is probably the part that's a little more annoying, but with the blackout, but I also... I, I can't even remember if the blackout goes goes here normally, even if you haven't beaten uh, Storm Eagle, like, in this specific section with the spark guys. I honestly can't remember. And I'm too lazy to play the game again and, and uh, look it up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just say yes or no, and I'll look it up online or something. Uh, right here, there's a mini boss. Once again, without the power outage, this guy is really annoying because he keeps trying to suck the uh, get, like electric power from the uh, ceiling, and that right there, that that like that sound he's making, uh, that's normally where he shoots electricity down at you. But now there's nothing to worry about, and and for that attack. Other thing worth noting, the uh, the bubbles he shoots down gets you caught in them. I'm not really sure what it is. It's probably not just water. Then again, what is he even, like, in? What, what is that? It's like goo, but it's like blue so it looks like water? Hey, it's not too bad. In fact, uh, if you have Storm Tornado's, <laughs> Storm Tornado's weapon, you know, the Storm Eagle, uh... <laughs> He goes down even faster, uh, especially with the charge shot. These guys right here, they uh, kind of throw a temper tantrum if they get turned around long enough. Like this guy here off the edge. Uh -huh. Sometimes they go so fast that they just start like going back and forth. It's kind of funny, but... Eh, too late to show it off right now. You may be wondering why I'm... Oh, there. Aw, oh, he was, like, right there. He was doing it. Oh, let's see if he'll do it. Let's see if he'll do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Do the thing. Do the thing where you look like an idiot. Alright, do it. Whatever. He was He was, He was. was doing it. The, uh... The reason why I'm so lazy in this episode isn't because I'm actually lazy, except just kidding. That's... I, I am really lazy. Uh, is because uh, I'm in character. This, uh, in fact, you know what? This turtle. I'm gonna show off the charge shot now. Hey, 
Yeah, it, it almost killed him. It takes like another shot to kill the turtle. But sometimes, for some reason, if you're like closer to it, once you uh, shoot the shot... Oh, he's not coming back. Uh, once, If you're a little closer to him once you shoot the shot, then it seems like it sometimes hits the enemies a bit more. I'm not really sure why. Uh, this right here. Uh, I could get Boomer Quanger's weapon and, and shoot a, uh, a boomerang that'll grapple onto that heart piece and then I can just get it down here. I just called it a heart piece like in Zelda, I just noticed. Uh, but, if you're really precise... Actually, this one's not too bad. Uh, you can uh, do a dash wall jump and clip the edge of this wall right here. It's not too hard to do, actually. I, I don't know why I said it was, like, difficult. I mean, general timing is when you're about halfway through this, like, magnet thing about halfway through the wall here. And there we go. It's a good application of your, your moveset if you can do it that way. Oh, he was having a bit of a... I don't know what you call it, a tantrum. Alright, check this out. You see how it just killed the turtle in one shot this time? But if I stand a little further away, it doesn't. I don't really know why. In fact, that one took, did even less damage than the first shot I, I did with the, with the original turtle that I tried it with. How? These guys are kind of pests. Like, they, they won't get you killed, very likely. But, like, they just kind of show up and, like, cheap shot you. It's really annoying. So the incredible motivation behind uh, Spark Mandrill is that uh, he just kind of blindly followed Sigma's orders, and then he's like, "All right, here, troops, do do your job around the power plant. I'm just gonna eat all this uh, electricity right here. So I'm a glutton for that shit." And here he comes. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty cool intro. Apparently, speedrunners, or at least uh, Caleb Hart, that I know. Of, Calls this guy Mike Tyson, because that's why. In fact, he can be kind of annoying because uh, he's not the most predictable boss out there. Every time he seems to like smash the ground in some way or the wall, you, uh, yeah, you completely bounce off it like, like it was such a tremendous earthquake that you had to fall off the wall and you couldn't grab on. That's kind of annoying. Uh, regardless, though, because I love to say that during the, uh, the Game Boy Pentology, regardless, though, let's do our best. Also worth noting that it seems like those strange properties of the, the pink shot also apply to bosses somewhat. But yeah, it's also good if he's punching towards you, if you can get a shot on him, then uh, it'll it'll push him back and it'll stop uh, his punching animation. And yeah, I, I don't know why the pink shot's so bizarre. It just sometimes it does one damage to bosses, sometimes it does multiple. I'd say the best way to deal with this guy is just dash shots. I mean, like most bosses, to be fair. Ooh, this guy was uh, getting real predictable. This is by far the least stressful thing when he just climbs on the ceiling there. And just like that, he's gone. Pretty cool boss, pretty cool design. I like him. Music's awesome, by the way. I'd say it's one of the best right behind Storm Eagle. Uh, yeah. Arm and Armadillos is damn good. Uh, if you're talking about the music of this game, you know, it's really on par with the classic series. It's... It's just so well done. With that being said, though, we now have uh, four of the eight Mavericks. It took long enough making these videos at the rate I'm making them. Uh, next time, I guess we'll cover... The, uh, the Maverick who's weak to the... Crap, what was it called? The Spark Shot? No, that's, that's Mega Man 3. Right, uh, the, the guy that's weak to the Thunderbolt. Whatever, whatever it's called.
Electric Spark, yeah, it's, it's a very generic name, if I must be honest. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check out uh, Armin Armadillo's stage. Probably my favorite music in the game, so I'm excited.